प्रभा ले बाबा को सा उठो रे प्रिय आत्मन जागो हे प्रिय आत्मन फरिश्तों के संग संग बाबा है पधारे फरिश्तों के संग संग बाबा है पधारे प्रीतम से कर मिलन जागो आत्मन उठो आत्मन आई रे प्रभा From Amrit Vela, you begin to sing songs in your daily timetable. You wake up with the song, so sing the songs of Baba's praise and songs praising. your most elevated life sing songs of knowledge and songs of all attainment do you know how to sing these songs you know isn't it so sing the songs and dance with happiness every action should be performed by dancing in happiness so throughout the whole day sing songs and move forward by dancing with happiness sing and dance why why to sing and why to dance why to sing and why to dance yes why to sing the temple of god is closed to them who are sad the temple of god is open to those who jump who rejoice who enjoy who sing who dance who celebrate this is the life of divine celebration every moment is the moment of ecstasy every moment is the moment of celestial celebration this is the season of dance baba says the moment you get up at amrit vela jump with joy start singing the glories of god start singing praising your own achievements attainments start glorifying the lord the first thought is the most important thought 
if the very first thought is negative if the very first thought is full of sadness the entire day would some good get drown in melancholy the very first thought is a thought of joy and you find the entire day no matter what situations what circumstances what barriers what hindrances are coming your way you remain about them as if they are the toys and you are beyond them so brahmin life is not a dry arid land where you just sit and do austere practices and tapasya but this is a life of celebration where you enjoy every moment every second every bit of it why there is so much joy and why there is so much celebration because the life has become so pure and out of purity comes happiness and out of purity comes joy and out of purity comes that smile and out of purity comes those pure vibes the puppeteer has come and you are puppets so he's making you dance so this is the dance of divinity the purer you become the better you you are a dancer your dancing depends upon your purity your singing depends upon your purity the melody of your songs is the melody of your purity the purer you are the more melodious you become the purer you are the more refined dancer you become one dancing mind is enough to ignite the dance in the minds of thousands and millions it is said by scientists that one seed had fallen on earth it is said that one seed had fallen on earth maybe because of some collusion of stars and that seed gave rise to one tree and then from one tree the entire earth became green so it was just one seed which is enough to fill this planet with lush greenery so also one ignited mind is enough to set ablaze the fire of spirituality in all minds so you get up you open your eyes at amrit vela the first joy is that whatever time you had set for yourself you had woken up at the same time so it's your self mastery you sleep with a thought that i will wake up at this particular time and you open your eyes and you find it is even before that so that is your first victory that is your first success so your day is beginning with the thought of victory you have defeated the time so sing with joy the glories of your victory and then who woke you up the whole world is in slumber 
and you are sitting like an enlightened master. God has woken you up. This is the second joy. You are going now to meet God, not an ordinary being, not any avatar, not any tirthankar, not any buddha, not any religious founder. God of gods, Mahadev. Shiva is known as Mahadev. So he is the God of gods. So you are going to meet him. Or rather, he is going to come down to meet you. And then you are in front of him. How can you be sad? How can you be unhappy? And one more thing, you are joining a group of Brahmins, a gathering of Brahmins who are sitting there with a similar aim. Jesus Christ has said somewhere, when four of my disciples would gather, know that I am there. Naham vasami vaikunte yoginam ridhayanacha madhbhakta yatra gayanti tatra tishthami narada I am not in Vaikunt, I am not in Yogi's heart, but wherever my lover sings my songs, my glories. Tatra Tishthami Narada. O Narada, know that I am there present. So whenever few Brahmins are gathered, wherever, whichever time, God is present there. So you are going in the group of gathering, in a gathering, who are sitting to remember the same one father. Today, Sakar Murli starts with a statement, say loudly that we are sitting in the remembrance of Shiva. And then, when you sit in front of him and his drishti falls upon him, the drishti of God, the vision of God, what it can do? What is the power of that vision? What God's drishti can do? Miracles. What miracles? Pangu Langhayate Girim. The one who is paralyzed would start walking. His powers are so much. Are we aware of powers of God? The one whom we ordinarily and lovingly and dearingly call Baba, are you aware that he is God? He is God. What is God? It's a big thing. You go to any religious person and tell him that you are just coming after meeting God. He said, I have you gone mad. You are wearing these modern clothes. For God, you have to go in the jungle and do tapasya. For years, thousands of years, then Rare it is that it is, and now in this Kali it is not possible also. You can just sit one day with this thought what are the powers of God? Who is He? not the intellectual understanding, but just try to feel powers of God, His powers, 
His glory, His love, the same God in whose love devotees were mad, the same God whose glory Nanak sang, in whose love Mira was mad, about whom Chaitanya spoke, for whom Kabir devoted his life, the same God. They got lost in his love. They lost the consciousness of this world. The same God is here and now. So at Amrit Vela, sing. At Amrit Vela, just dance. Singing and dancing, these are the two acts of celebration. Also eating. <laughs> this is also included, important part of celebration. What you eat? Shubiras, mango juice. What you eat? Chop chini. That's a very nourishing food, Baba says. What you eat? Happiness is your nourishment. What you eat? Taravati mal, very nourishing food. What you eat? Halwa. What you eat? Saccharine. God himself is saccharine. So what you eat is saccharine. But your food is invisible food. So at Amrit Vela start eating the divine food, the invisible food, the unseen food. the foodless food. The kitchenless food. He himself is saccharine. Baba said four days back in one murli, in the subtle world, you go and eat a drink shubiras. This can be converted into a yogic practice. So when you eat food, when you have your breakfast or whenever you have your juice or water, first offer to him, let that drink a glass of juice, receive drishti from God and now this juice has turned into shubiras and then drink. It will have extraordinary powers. It will have miraculous, health nourishing, health giving, life giving powers. This one glass is enough for you. When it is purified, when it is supercharged, when it is electrified, by divine energy. It has no more remain a juice. It has no more remain ordinary glass of water. It has become the divine wine. And when you drink such divine wine, you get intoxicated. And in that sheer intoxication, you sing the glories of God. You start dancing like a divine drunkard. So at Amrit Vela join the gang of divine drunkards. The more intoxicated you are, the more you are lost. The more intoxicated and inebriated you are, the more you forget this world. What is there in this world? 
the world of sorrow, the world of untruth, the world of vices, the world of falsehood. What this world? Forget it. So Amrit Vela is the time for drinking the Amrit nectar. So drink to your hearts full. Think of all those things that make you happy. And with those thoughts, dance. This is a very invisible dance, the danceless dance. Nothing is seen on the surface, everything is happening on the inner plane of consciousness. In fact, there is no need to show outward dancing in this. Rather, the outside dance will become an obstacle in this dance. Rather, the outside singing will become an obstacle in this singing. Because this is the songless song. This is the speechless speech. This is the soundless sound. And through you, you enter into the gateless gate. This is the chantless chant, Ajapa Jap. This is happening in so much silence that you alone know it, not even the person who is sitting next to you. There is an inner explosion. This stage is atomic. The divine joy is atomic and there is occurring an atomic explosion within you. And this atomic explosion burns away all that is past, all that is dead, all that is wise. So rejoice, enjoy, jump, dance. But as I said, the basis of everything is that unhindered purity. The basis of all this is divine love. The basis of all this is Srimat. This is the triangle on which is standing the edifice, the building of divine celebration. Without purity is not possible. Without divine love it's not possible. Without following Srimat to the hilt it is not possible. Absolute purity, absolute Srimat, and absolute love divine. So keep an eye on these three things. Purity means no impurity. Divine love means these are worldly people. Your uncle, your wife, your son, your mother, your father, your daughter, your all those relatives on one side. Somebody sent me an article yesterday about Yashoda, Mother Yashoda, Brahma Baba's wife. When Baba's son had gone to Mumbai, uh, she was there only in Mumbai. And uh, he wrote to Baba, Baba, I am getting married. So, mother is here only. 
so she should come and attain my marriage. But Baba called up Yashoda and Yashoda he told, please come back, don't stay there. You have no business to attain marriage. Though Baba's son was imploring, but Mother Yashoda, she did not listen. She just followed Baba and she came back to Mount. Yesterday was her day, 16th or 15th. 15th or today? Today. So that is absolute obedience. It was not an obedience to her husband, but obedience to Brahma, who was God's chariot. She did not go to her son's marriage. And last, this is Srimat, Love Divine and Purity, Om Shanti. Om Shanti. अमृत बेले से गीत गाना शुरू करते हो दिनचर्या में उठते भी उठते भी गीत से हो तो बाप के व अपने श्रेष्ठ जीवन की महिमा के गीत गाओ ज्ञान के गीत गाओ सर्व प्राप्तियों के गीत गाओ यह गीत गाना नहीं आता आता है ना तो गीत गाओ और खुशियों में नाचो खुशियों में नाचते हर कार्य करो तो सारा दिन गीत गाते रहो खुशियों में नाचते रहो From Amrit Vela, you begin to sing songs. In your daily timetable, you wake up with the song. So sing the songs of Baba's praise and songs praising your most ele- elevated life. Sing songs of knowledge and songs of all attainments. Do you not know how to sing these songs? You know, isn't it? So sing the songs and dance with happiness. Every action should be performed by dancing in happiness. So throughout the whole day, sing songs and move forward by dancing with happiness. Om Shanti. Om Shanti.